They being straight there. Come on guys, let us go and check out some stuff about the Tibetan Mastiff's dogs. Welcome to the Beings Around Us channel. This is me Yeshwant Rajashekran right over here. The Tibetan Mastiffs are big, strong and smart dogs. These guys usually belong to the working dogs breed. These guys belong to the Himalayan regions of Tibet, China, India, Mongolia and Nepal. Their ancestors lived with nomads in high plateaus and valleys in the Himalayas. These dogs were being used by the nomadic people to protect their families and flocks of sheep from the external threats. They were being used as guard dogs in many Buddhist monasteries also. There are basically two types of Tibetan Mastiff. One of them is the Dokhai. These breeds were used by the nomads to protect their family and flocks. These Dokhai Tibetan Mastiffs were also used to protect villages. And the other type of the Tibetan Mastiffs are the Sankai, which were used to protect the Buddhist monks and monasteries. The Sankai type of the Tibetan Mastiffs are larger than the Dokhai Tibetan Mastiffs. Their barks are too loud and breathtaking as their larger dogs have larger vocal cords and lungs so they produce deeper and louder barks. Might be like this. Sorry dude, I just tried to mimic your bark. They have a heavy little muscular body and they have a plump tail that can curl over and rest on their back. They have a long thick double coat for especially thick in their neck and shoulders. This makes them look like a lion. They live healthily in a cool and dry climate and they are territorial in nature. So there has to be a big fence in your yard. It is not a good idea to keep these guys in an apartment as these guys need some space to goof around. Like a quite a big yard. These Tibetan masters may weigh about 55 to 90 kgs. In the Tibetan masters, the female's height is approximately about 61 to 71 cm and the males may reach up to a height of 83 cm. These guys have some kind of a droopy eyes and floppy ears. When they breed, they give birth to about 5 to 12 puppies at a time. These Tibetan masters are available in different colors like blue-gray, black, brown, black and tan, red gold and brown tan. These guys can be fed with some kind of meat, vegetables, cooked eggs and even cottage cheese. And you can also feed these guys with good quality food products available for their specific needs. Exercise is a must for these guys for more than 1 hour per day. Their lifespan is about 10 to 12 years and they are pretty much expensive. Their price may start from $1,335 or 1 lakh Indian rupees and their price does not have an upper limit. They might be prone to certain specific health issues like hip dysplasia, thyroid problems and skin infections. These are just some of the problems that they might face. Their thick fur coat may shed and fall heavily during the spring seasons. So frequent brushing is essential for them. So generally, it's better to brush their fur once in a week. They are an independent and often stubborn breed. So these guys are not fit for the dog owners who are just nervous. They are loving and protective towards their family but they are aggressive towards the strangers. It's a good idea to train them to socialize when they are young itself because as they become an adult, they become pretty much aggressive and it's very difficult to train them. These guys can survive in extremely cold conditions but moderate temperature would be best for them in general. It's better for the people living in the hot regions of the world to avoid the idea of having these guys as pets. Guys I want to tell you something that just buy pets only if you can take care of them in a good manner otherwise don't buy them. Put out some comments in the comment section so that I'll be able to correct my mistakes and serve you in a better way. If you would like to know more about the beings living around us, then just please do subscribe to the beings around this channel by clicking the red button down below and please do press the bell icon so that you would get immediate notification whenever I put a video on the YouTube platform. I hope you like this video and if you do so, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, let's meet up next time.